Hi, I'm Stacy, and welcome to Work Smarter, insight and tools to accelerate your fulfillment and success. Today we're talking about how to be liked while also being a kick-ass professional. You're the boss or you're aspiring to be, and so you have to balance driving for results while also being liked. One without the other is like a car without gas or vice versa. Unless you have them both, things are not gonna run smoothly. Where people get into trouble is that they tend to err on one side or the other of the spectrum. So for example, those who want to be liked tend to be the people pleasers. They're going to avoid conflict and they might even have these insecurities that bother them throughout the day and that influence the way they respond in the workplace. They're very much sensitive to and choosing to act in ways that they're going to be liked. And then on the other side, you've got these ambitious, driven performers who are all about the bottom line and they're not making adequate time for building their emotional intelligence muscle or increasing their self-awareness. And so they don't uh, they don't adjust their interaction for the audience appropriately. Okay, so here are five things that you can do to try and balance this. So you can be a kick-ass professional, but also be liked. Number one, listen. And I want you to check your talk to listen ratio. If you find that you are talking way more than you're listening, I want you to reel that back in. And that should be at least a 50-50, right? And if you're really trying to get ahead, you should actually be more in the listening mode than you are in the talking mode. You're gonna collect so much more intel that way and you're gonna create more buy-in. And so I don't want you to just hear the other person while you're planning to interrupt and insert your rebuttal in that conversation, but actually listen verbally and on that nonverbal level. Second thing you can do is reflect understanding. And this is through summary and paraphrase. You can say things like, if I'm hearing correctly, what I understand you're asking is, if we do this idea, it sounds like, you know, you're saying, this seems to bother you. So you're saying those summaries and those paraphrases showing that you are listening. And this is actually a really great tactic to get comfortable with. That way it becomes a default, especially in times of conflict. Number three, Ask open-ended questions. So many times we're busy and we're just saying, oh, do you like this? Can we do this? Let's do this. We're not asking open-ended questions, which invites people into the conversation. It creates buy-in, it invites for collaboration, and people want to contribute that way. And also part of this asking is about feedback for you and what it's like to work for you and with you. And you want to be asking for that feedback and aware of it so that you can grow your soft skills along with your hard skills. Number four, I want you to play up how your goal and your results help other people. Oftentimes we're like, yeah, I got a win and this is my win and it looks so good. Or we totally bury it and we just promote other people and not ourselves. And you've got to have some balance here and with your goals, make sure you connect that outcome to how it helps other people. Why would they be interested? Why is this good for them? Why is it good for your boss? How does it make her look good? Okay, connect your goals. And number five, trust is so important. And trust isn't necessarily being liked because you're the friendly talkative one, but trust is about acting with strict integrity. People can believe that your actions are gonna match your words. So you can drive hard to ace your job all you want, but make sure what you're doing matches what you're saying that you're gonna do or what you're telling other people to do. Okay, so those are five things. Listen, use reflective understanding, ask open-ended questions, play up how your goals help other people, and cultivate that trust. That is such a key quality I see over and over again in respected leaders. So I hope this helps. There's lots more in conversation resources, free training in the Career Mavericks Facebook group. I wanna see you over there. And thank you for watching this week's video and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.